Hello and welcome to another help video from supermacworld.com. I'm Zach. The website for this video and more is www.supermacworldnz.com. And we're finishing off our session on iPhoto today. And we will cover albums, smart albums, and exporting the photo to your computer and other forms of media. And we already created the Steve Jobs photos, but let's look at some other ways you can create albums. Now, so if you wanted to create an album out of these two photos, you need to select both of them by pressing the shift key, and you could go new album from selection. Now let's call them new Steve Jobs photos 2. Album to it, well, whatever. And that's it. Um, now, smart albums are also a great way for you to organize your photos. Now, if we call this one Photographs of Steve Jobs, now, you can create certain conditions so that your computer automatically selects which photos fit into this category and go into the, your folder. So, let's do it based on a place. So, it contains Auckland. So, and do we want to add another condition? Why not? So, let's go face, contain face is Steve Jobs now so this automatically recognizes that these were taken in Auckland and puts them into the smart album and if you want to create another smart album based on your rating so best photos rating 5 so, album, so you want to get, select my rating is 5 or 4, or, or if you want to do with one of those, you can, is 5. Okay, so currently you don't have any photos rated at 5, but you can rate them. So, if you want to rate this photo as 5, you can go photo, my rating, and you can go five. And if you want to do this to any other photo, a quick way is to go command five. And if you want to rate it something else, you can go command one or two or three or four. And if we go to best photos, there is the photo of Steve Jobs. Smart albums are pretty cool. And now on to exporting. If you wanted to export this photo onto your computer it's as simple as going file export and you can select what you want jpeg png or original and if you want good quality you can include title keywords location information if you want full size large medium or small and you can use the title sequ sequential numbers or album name with number and let's export that one quickly and let's export it to iPhoto. And we shall call it Steve Jobs iPhone. Okay, and that is done. Now, if you wanted to export this photo of Steve Jobs to your Facebook account, just click Facebook and if you've already signed in, then the screen will come up. If not, sign in like you normally do. And you can see who you want to see. Everyone. Friends of friends or only friends. And that's how you do that. And it's similar for Face Flickr and Mobile Me. If you want to email this photo to someone, just click on email. Size medium, large, small or full quality. 
and you can include all this information and you click compose message. And that brings to an end of this three video series on iPhoto. Thank you and don't forget to go to supermacworldnz.com for lots more videos, help guides and information on your latest Apple products.